Hey, what is going on guys? It's Engage Tutorials and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to show you how to get the Easter Egg or the achievement No One Escapes Alive. First of all, you have to come down to this basement. It's in the very beginning when you go to the first key ring. Um, before even the, the office, the uh, warden's office. And have a friend shock that, uh, that charge right there and then you can turn on the washer slash dryer. And keep in mind when you do this, uh, one of the Brutuses or wardens to come out. So you have to kill it, but once it's uh, once you kill it or once the dryer is done, it'll open and you can grab a part, and that is one of the parts to the quest, which is building the plane. So the next thing we have to do is make our way to the top of the building so we can start assembling our plane, which is behind the cherry perk. Go behind that all the way down and then into this door, which there is also another part that a friend can pick up take a right and go into the bathrooms don't don't worry about that part uh, take another right then a left and you should see the part glowing right there in the in the case now keep in mind you will need the warden's key to get all this stuff so um, he got that part and now what you want to do is go into afterlife mode and unlock the door so enter afterlife and once you enter the afterlife mode uh, go in back into the bathroom which is right up here and go through this blue thing the blue hole like portal type stuff and climb up and go unlock the door. This is the only way to do that and let your friend up and then you can start building the parts for the Easter egg or achievement or just the plane if you rather call it that. So go ahead and build it and now we need to find the rest of the parts. The next thing we're going to do is open the warden's office because you will need a part in there eventually but we're not going to get that quite yet and sorry about that phone. But uh, have a friend go in afterlife mode and unlock it. It's pretty simple. Just follow what he does. Jump up there, go to the right, and go down the steps and unlock it. All right. Now here, as you can see, it is lit up. It is electrified. It sh it'll shock you if you touch it. So we're gonna have to disable that, which I will show you how to do in the future. Now, uh, keep in mind we still have three, three to four more parts to find. So let's go to the next one. Now from here, what you want to do is take the gondola down and. To the Tommy gun or the the third whiskey whiskey bottle for the Easter egg song. If you didn't see that, the link is in the description to view that. But uh, go to this door, unlock it with the warden's key, and once you do that, have all your friends get in there because I think that's only the way it works. But I'm not sure. You can try it with people outside. But once you go in, have everyone in and shock the charge right there. And I'm waiting for waiting for someone else. Uh, go ahead and shock it, and it opens this. Now have someone grab the part and when you're in your afterlife shock it again and the other gate will open back up so pretty simple now we have three parts now we gotta find the other two so before we move on to finding another part we want to disable the electrical barrier around the warden's uh, office door so what you're going to do is go down this hallway or either on the other side open this gate and get into the electrical room and you want to go you want to go into afterlife mode again so go ahead and activate that now we are doing this in order what is pretty much the easiest and what's the easiest to get to so you can do it in different orders if you want. But uh, shock the lit up, um, whatever those are called, generators and shock the one inside through the wall and that generator to the right should have blown up and the electricity should be off at the warden's door if you did it correctly. Which it's, you pretty, should, you pretty much should do it correctly because it's pretty easy. So next we're going to go find the other two parts and uh, get to building this thing. Alright guys, so the next part is right next to where we turn off the electricity, that's why we're doing it in this order because everything's close to one another and it just feels like a fluent flow. So go ahead and unlock that combination generator right there and run all the way to the top and you will have to go into afterlife mode again. Afterlife mode is key into this achievement easter egg. So enter afterlife mode and the key to this is watch the numbers on the wall as you walk down because that's the combination you will enter. So you see two, and I get stuck. Uh, one, six. So two, one, six. So that's how many times you want to hit each one. So one, two, one for the second one, and six. Now what you want to do is run all the way back up. You get a certain amount of time. I believe it's like 60 seconds. I'm pretty sure because that seems right. So run all the way back to the top and revive yourself. And then once you revive yourself, you're going to have to run all the way back down to the bottom. Right to that doorway. 
and I don't know what I was doing there. I think I was plugging in my controller because it died. And uh, when you get to this doorway, you want to go through here and down the steps. And I came to an unfortunate situation and died, or got downed rather. So I'm speeding this part up. And now go down the steps all the way and then go to the left and through this way and you will see this. Open it and grab your part. And there is your fourth part. Now only one more to go. So now we're going to go back to the warden's office to get that part that was before barriered in an electric door. Just uh, take that uh, lift and take an immediate left and jump off the balcony. And now you can open it and have someone grab that like so and now we're gonna go back up to the top and build it and get our achievement and fly to the Golden Gate Bridge right we're back up top and now we gotta put everything back together craft the plane everyone put in their parts and it is built now everyone can get on you have to get in different spots so one might have to move over a little bit but if you're getting hit by a zombie you're more than likely not gonna get on because it messes you up as you can see my other two buddies didn't get on and uh, me and one other guy went so here we are taking off yes it was freaking awesome and you fly up 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 and away um, you go to the bridge and some weird stuff starts happening like hit by lightning and you run into it and BAM you fall face first and survive I don't know how that happens but it happens and there you go 75 G's no one escapes alive and the Easter egg and also the pack of punches up here so thanks for watching, guys. If you did enjoy and this helped you, uh, leave a comment below letting me know. Uh, leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And look forward to more Uprising DLC videos. Have a good one.